it's turning into one of those days where I don't feel that much progress has been made. But I suppose it has. All the undercoating is done now in the kitchen area and some of the second coat. And I suppose there hasn't been that much done in the way of sort of visible stuff, but in the kind of not so visible stuff. Um, I changed my mind about replacing the cooker because I had a look online and couldn't find any that weren't completely hideous, <laughs> unless they were very, very expensive. And I had a look and I think I can probably paint it. Um, I'll have to do a good clean up job on the sides and the top of it. Get some sort of, maybe some serious degreaser that I wouldn't normally use on the boat, but that I will sort of keep contained as it were and not let anywhere near the waterway. Um, but I think I can probably paint out the red either in black or in some darker colour and in which case it would probably be okay because I think it works fine, it's just the look of it and well and the greasiness but uh, that's just elbow grease so I needed to sort that out. But um, yeah as well the the um, the water tank is fixed. Um, one of the guys came this morning, had a terrible job getting out the heating this is the heating um, element that was in it and yeah he's put a stopper in it but not only that he installs gas heaters so I'm actually going to have one of those and, I'll, uh, and when he puts that in for me I'll actually get rid of this and then I'll have a bit more storage space um, because I don't really want to have to run the engine if I don't have to I don't want to have to run the engine for an hour and a half to get a tank of water to have a shower you can get an instant gas heater which will go up on the wall there and hook up to my gas line, which is just down there for the gas cooker. Um, it'll need a vent putting in the ceiling out above it, but he'll do that. And then you just, every time you turn on your hot tap, you get hot water, which would be amazing. And much better than, as I say, running the engine every day. So yeah, and he also asked me about my batteries. And I said, oh, I've got six out here. And there they are, they're under the deck. Um, they're really good batteries and they're only two years old. But he said to me, um, he had a look at them and he said, do you know you need to put water in these? And I said, no. And so he showed me these, these three lids on here. You take them off and I don't think it's going to show in the video now, but in there, there should be liquid. And you use deionized water for them. Um, and they were all dry, which is really, really bad for the batteries, apparently. I didn't know. So I frantically went up went up to the local motor factories and got some um, deionized water. And I have them all done now, except for this one. But um, I hope that they're not damaged. He said he thought they looked okay. So, because uh, they're, that's like a, a grand's worth to replace those batteries. And they're only two years old. They should last five years at least even longer if they're taken care of so hopefully fingers crossed they'll be okay and I'll know now to keep an eye on them as a regular thing but yeah that's the that's where they are and the engine is under the deck next to them um, but yeah so that was that's been good today even though it hasn't made much progress towards my my decorating and stuff but batteries are kind of more important than how it looks so I was very grateful to him. <laughs> it was great that he came on and asked questions and everybody here is like that. They they want to help so when you don't know what you're doing so they'll ask things that they didn't know when they were starting out and everything so that's it's really really nice. That's just lovely to have people like that around.